we're living in the days where the persecution that the Bible speaks of is, is, is around. It's here. It speaks about it in Matthew. It speaks about it in John. It speaks about it in Revelations. Okay? What What is the persecution and why is the persecution? Okay? The government has a agenda. Okay? Where they want to they want to push a certain type of they, they they look down at us and they want us living and doing things in the way that they want us doing it. It don't matter that it's wicked. They're going to groom you to think that it's okay. It's wicked, okay? They're going to groom you to think that this is normal. You see what I'm saying? They want all of the men to be like little girl uh little girls. You see what I'm saying? And if and put it this way, if you're not gay, then you're at least feminine and you don't see it as such. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, let me give you an example. See, they're trying to give you, you can be feminine. They're trying to make it where you can be a feminine man and that be the epitome of what a man is because you don't really know what a real man. This is, this is, this is the iconic. They're going to give you an icon like, like uh, Kevin Samuels. You know who Kim, Kevin Samuels is? Talks all the stuff about women. Little gay ass Pee Wee Herman looking dude, but he's supposed to be the alpha, the man. He serves as the man. Okay? That's how they want you. They want you wearing a little Pee Wee Herman suit. You see, we used to make fun of Pee Wee Herman in his tight suit. That same exact suit is what these little boys is putting on when they get jiggy dit nowadays. When they go to prom, it's that same suit. High water pants, same suit. We used to laugh at that shit. We're getting jiggy and wearing that and getting fresh with the Pee Wee Herman suit on. They're turning our men into Pee Wee Herman. They did. They turned our men, our boys, into Pee Wee fucking Herman. And worse. You see what I'm saying? You're broke. Here comes the persecution. When a real man sees it and says, no, I understand how this works. The school is a military industrial complex. I'm not sending my ch children there to be groomed into this bullshit, and this lifestyle. You know what I mean? You had my child having crushes on little girls and that was okay. Nobody seen nothing wrong with it. Now, when the, di when the shit changes over to boy on boy, girl on girl, they're learning about it in school. You are teaching about it in school. You can't say that you're not. They're teaching it in school. So then when, and then you, we're not stupid. We see what you're doing. So now the little boy is going to be buying my my son gifts on um, Valentine's Day. And there's nobody going to be around, no grown up around to say, no, this isn't right. No, don't do that. And if I come into the school and say, oh, hell no, nah, I'm the bad guy. I mean, every living creature in here is looking at me like I'm the bad guy. Whether it's the gym teacher, the principal, they all see me as toxic masculinity. OK, so now when we go against this. Trying to preserve what is right what is normal they're going to look at you like you're wicked and you're evil and you should go to jail and you should have your children taken from you okay and you're better off dead than even being alive okay um um let me give you an example persecution persecution or prosecution they're going to offer you up for uh what does it mean it means you can go to jail you can be killed you can be denied food uh let me tell you why food is an example of being persecuted or prosecuted it's because if you deny a person food in, in a lot of cases most cases like access to a grocery store in most cases that's worse than going to jail because in jail, they feed you in there. You know what I mean? So if we let you stay free, but we don't give you, you can't go, you just, you can't go buy food. And we never taught you hunting skills. We never taught you how to find stuff. You don't have no land to grow nothing on. You know what I mean? Persecution. And then pretty, listen, listen. Listen. The world is coming under a strong stigma, indoctrination, bro. I'm going to read Jer John chapter 15, starting with 
Um, starting with verse 17. Listen closely. I demand that you love each other. For you get enough hate already from the world. He's talking to the Hebrew Israelites, the ones who know the truth. But then, again, it hated me before it hated you. The world would love you if you belong to it, but you don't. What does it mean by the world would love you if you belong to it? That means that just keep on the pursuit of happiness. Keep chasing money. Wear the, wear the clothes that they... Go along with all of the trends, bro. Don't go against the grain, man. You know what I mean? Don't go against the grain. It's normal. It's okay. That's being of the world. Okay? The world will love you if you went along with it, but you don't. For I choose, I chose you to come out of the world. And so now it hates you. You remember what I told you. A slave isn't greater than his master. So since they persecuted me, Naturally, they're going to persecute you too. And if they had, and if they had listened to me, then they would listen to you. He's sitting here knowing for a fact that we're sitting here trying to preach, and these people don't want to hear it. That they don't want to hear it. That they're not listening to us. This is already pre-written, bro. See what I'm saying? The people of the world will persecute you because you belong to me. For they don't know the Most High who sent me. They would not be guilty if they had not, if um, if I had not come and spoken to them. But now they have no excuse for their sins. The Most High is going to make the Most High is making sure that the messengers and prophets in the world today are speaking out. That's why you can't stop posting your videos on YouTube, even though YouTube's trying to shut you up. That's why you can't stop posting on Facebook even though they're penalizing you for 30 days back to back to back. You keep coming. You're just a force that just has to do. The Most High is just pushing you, making you do this. Trying to make sure everybody gets a whiff of the truth. Anyone hating me is also hating my father. If I hadn't done such mighty miracles among these people, then they would not be counted as guilty. But as it is, they saw these miracles and yet they hated both me and my father. This um, has fulfilled what the prophets uh, said concerning the Messiah. They hated me without reason. But I will send comfort, the Holy Spirit, the source of truth. He will come and he will come to you from the father and will tell you all about me. And you also must tell everyone about me because you have been with me from the beginning. Okay, now listen. Now it's about to get deep. Listen. I have told you these things so that you will not be staggered by all that lies ahead. It means that you don't be afraid or staggered by everything that's coming. For you will be excommunicated from the synagogues. What does excommunicated means? That means the churches ain't going to want to hear nobody like you speak. That means even the churches, the houses of so-called God, they're not going to want you in there at all. They're not going to want it. They're not, they're not going to let you say nothing. Although the Most High made you a messenger of his word, a preacher of his true word, they ain't going to want to hear nothing you got to say in that church. You will be excommunicated from the synagogues. And indeed, the time is coming when those who kill you Think that they are doing God's service. Here. Okay. This is because they never known the father or me. Yes, I'm telling you these things so that when all this stuff happens, you will remember that I warned you. I didn't tell you earlier because I was going to be with you for a little while longer. Listen. It just said that even when they kill you, they're going to literally think that they're doing the most high service by getting rid of you because you're going to be a, they're going to say that's hate speech. You preach that's of the devil. You're preaching hatred. 
See what I'm saying? You're preaching hatred. That's of the devil. That's wicked. God doesn't judge like that. God loves all. God loves everybody. God forgives all actions. What are you talking about? That's wicked. See? Bro. I don't know how much... Pe I don't know if people are taking this serious. I don't know if people are understanding this. I don't know. I don't, I don't think people read the scriptures enough to understand that this is what's coming. See what I'm saying? Here's the bitter truth that your landlord in the house that you live in, he's on board with the same mental as these, as this, what it's speaking of as these people, your phone, the people you pay your phone bill to, they're on board with these motherfuckers. Okay. Your cable bill, all of them, your favorite actor and rapper, everybody is on board with these motherfuckers. That's why it started off by saying, I demand that you love each other because you already get enough hatred from the world. What do you, what does it take? It's getting worse and worse. You can, by the minute, man, by the second, bro, they're bringing this in on us, bro. By the second. Seriously. We already come out of the bars. We've already come out of the, the clubs, the, the malls. We have already come out of the skating castles and we've already back, we're already backing away. We're already backing away. See what I'm saying? You're already in a corner. While these fucking uh, heathens are out here running amok, having fun, pursuing careers, bragging about money, killing each other. It's only a matter of time till they turn on us, especially because the Most High is making us a mouthpiece to speak out against it. I can't stop even if I wanted to. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't just hide and just chill and be away from this shit. I have to come do videos and speak about it and stuff. There's hateful eyes watching me every single day, bro. Some of my videos have hundreds of views. I just did a live last month. It got six, what, nine? Hundred views and it only has 45 likes how many of those people you think watched it and hated my ass so how many of those do you think he is seriously I mean I mean my own people looking at my videos and hatred I can sense it I can feel it I sense it the hatred well, I don't agree with that shit okay that's okay but I ain't lying Long as I ain't lying, I don't give a damn what you agree with. I'd never come on here and lie. You feel me? No reason to. Anyway, this is real. Oh, the Bible's just made up book. This is real. I have told you these things so that you won't be staggered by all that is coming. For you will be excommunicated from the synagogues. And indeed, the time is coming when those who kill you will think that they are doing God a service. There's a man who killed Brother, uh, brother uh, Dr. Rashad Khalifa, stabbed him, stabbed him up. I think he stabbed him like 30 something times. And then set him on fire. He thought he was doing a lie service. Listen. Do you. This is not far fetched. The same stigma. That the people are under. Over in the Middle East. It's making its rounds over here. And worldwide. See over in the Middle East. You can get beheaded on camera. Okay for believing in Jesus. And they're doing it. You can see it with your own two eyes. It's real. You feel me? And vice versa. The Christians over there beheading people who believe in Allah. Bro, if they find out you don't believe in Allah, they will come and give you the opportunity to either convert or die. You understand? What this is telling you? 
Listen, so when they kill these people, they don't think that they did an injustice. They really think that they did God a service when they kill, when they kill, um, when they're killing each other over there. They have no, they, they really think that they did good for doing that. See what I'm saying? So right, so so it puts us, where does it put us? It puts us in a battleground that we're not prepared to be on because we sit around thinking everything's okay. Okay, listen, just as sure as when they come to kill us, they think that the, they're doing the God a uh, justice. The same way how um, when Mattathias, when he killed the dude who made a, a sacrifice, the Hebrew Israelite who made a sacrifice on a satanic altar, he didn't see it as satanic. But but he didn't. He refused to listen and learn as Mattathias was trying to tell him. Mattathias killed him, and he knew and he knew in his heart that he did a, a righteous something righteous for the Most High because he was in the truth. But those people in return was after Mattathias to kill him because they felt like they were going to do their God, God they were going to do God a, a service by killing him. It's like who's right and who's wrong here. You see what I'm saying? Worship. Worship. That's why I worship that cross. It's a sword. Worship. The cross is a sword. Jesus died behind religious purposes. He died behind. It was the truth versus the lie. He was believing the truth and people believed that he was believing in a lie. They were believing in a lie and he believed that they were um and but they were believing in a lie but they believed that they were living they, they, but they believed that they were believing in the truth and vice versa with him. So it's minds clash. Religious practices turn into a uh a lifestyle to die for. When you become bro, when you become so uh, you become so groomed by the teachings of the society that you were born into when somebody try to come and try to take you out or speak against it um, and this is your livelihood then it's like you're separating me from all that I know even a baby would snap, would snap on you um, and bite his own mom's nipple when she's trying to unlatch him for a moment. For a moment. I'm not unlatching you forever. For a moment. He's willing to bite to take the whole nipple off. He's not thinking about her pain. You see what I'm saying? He'll bite your finger. A dog will bite the hand that feeds him. If he thinks that you're taking away his livelihood. You, you get what I'm trying to tell you? So what's going on is that they're grooming these people as uh since children, since babies. Into this lifestyle. And then when you come out and speak truth. You you become the devil. This is what feeds me. This is all that I know. Well God told me that ain't God. I know about God. And God this is all. Not, nothing I'm doing is illegal. Everything I'm doing is is, is, is not. Is, is That's why I say. Religion and politics go hand in hand. The laws that these people follow. They think they're justified by God. Because they, they snuck religion in there. That's why the churches are being filled up with homosexuals. You know what I'm saying? And women preachers, even though the Bible speaks against it, never okayed that. It never okayed none of this shit. But these, you got these pastors out here, they, they are literally inhabited by uh, uh, demons. Literally, their vessels are taken over by demons to be used. And that's how they teach lies so uh so good to the people and they get the people to fall right into the trap bro under a spell bro are you prepared to be persecuted you knowing that you're not going to go along with the shit you know you're not going to go along with somebody Making you toxic masculinity just for being what you were born to be. You know you're not going to go along with your children going to school and being groomed into becoming 
a sodomite, a devil worshiping sodomite, trained in school to have idols. Who, who's your idol when the Bible says not to have idols? They say, well, what's wrong with having an idol? That's just somebody to look up to. The Most High said to don't do it. If you want to look up to somebody, look up to him. Who's your idol? I bet you if you were in school and they said, who's your idol? And you said, um, well, I don't have idols. But if I was to idolize somebody, um, it would be Christ. Or or uh, Moses, it wouldn't be it it it, it 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 would be it wouldn't. They would rather hear you say Johnny Cochran. They'd rather hear you say Nicki Minaj. They'd rather hear you say uh, Bill Clinton. They'd rather hear you say a hockey player or somebody. You know what I mean? That would be the lamest answer when it shouldn't be the best. That would be the most lamest answer in the class. Who who did he say? Uh, Moses of the Bible. It would turn people off, especially your gay ass teacher. It would turn your teacher off. You know what I mean? Or or some gay or who 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 mops the hallway. He decides to come in your trash, come in your class and empty the trash. And while listening to y'all, who did who did you who did you say you wanted to be your idol? Um, and little child with the lock says, um, Moses from the Bible. What's the side of my? Grown up, grown folk, what's he going to think when he hears you say that? And you think these schools ain't satanic? Now I have my chance. The interrogations have ended and the guards trust me to go into the jungle to gather firewood. Working as fast as I can, I will collect two days worth of firewood. I'll bring one bundle back. I leave the second bundle in the woods. This is a cruel, wicked world, bro, and it's getting worse. It's a cruel, wicked world, and it's getting worse. If you're living in these days right here, and you and you know the truth, and you're living in the truth, you were chosen for it. You were chosen for it. If your grandpa came here and he lived the life. And he had a, a nice big house with a pool in the backyard with a picket fence and a little dog. And he lived his life and he died. And he didn't have any understanding of anything that was really going on. Then he was chosen for that life. He was. He was chosen to live that life right there. You, if you're here today and you have the truth, you were chosen for this. John chapter 15, verse 16. You didn't choose me. I chose you. I appointed you to go and produce lovely fruits always so that, so that no matter what you ask from the Father using my name, he will give it to you. This is what I need to do. It is very risky, but God is answering my prayer. I will risk everything to have a Bible. I don't want to leave my wife, but I have to or she will be in danger. Leaving her is so hard. God has answered my prayer. I have a Bible, but I must be careful. Don't wait until you're literally being persecuted in the process of you personally being prosecuted to start asking the Most High to liberate us out of here. Ask now. You already know what's coming. So ask now. Don't wait. Don't be selfish. Do it now. This little baby's being raped here by the ones who control this shit. The ones who Bro. The, everything's backwards 
bro, the good guys are the bad guys. They said the, they tell they tell the children that the, the police are the good guys. They're not the good guys. They're wicked sellouts for money, and they're just wicked. They're a big ass wicked gang, satanic gang. They're keeping tabs on all of us. The police are helping keep tabs on all of us. So is the FBI. So is the CIA. Look, bro, don't get me started. For they try to say I'm cyber doing something. For not going along, you're going to be persecuted. If you would go along, you'd be all right. No, I, no, I, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry, but I can't. I, no, I'm not sorry, but I can't. You know what I mean? I can't say that I love my children, but then offer... No, no, listen, I'm not going to say too much. Bro. I can't. Put it this way, I can't say that I love myself and then go out here. Um, I can't say I have any love whatsoever and then go out here and tell people that it's okay to live a wicked satanic lifestyle. Satan is happy as hell with the way that the world is being ran. <laughs> you know what I mean? Satan, I don't understand how people don't get that through their head. Satan is happy as shit with what's being taught in school. Satan is being very happy with what's being taught in the church. You can do whatever you want and be forgiven. That means that you can do satanic shit. Everything that Satan's telling you to do, do it because God is going to forgive you. Do you know Then you're making Satan's job easy as shit? What does Satan have to do if you're sitting here telling everybody to just do what they want to do? Be wicked. Um, don't trust in nature. You know what I'm saying? Don't care about nature whatsoever. Trust the government. Uh, just go along. Listen, you are an enemy of, of Satan. And he's going to use his constituencies to come for you, y'all. Fifteen and verse twelve says, "Oh, there is so much more that I want to tell you, but you can understand it for yourself now. When the Holy Spirit, who is truth, when the Holy Spirit, who is truth, comes, He shall guide you into all truth, for He will be presenting His own ideas." But you will be passing, but 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 will be passing on to you what he has heard. He will tell you about the future. He shall praise me and bring me great honor by showing you my glory. I seen it more than once. I'm not lying to you. All the Father's glory is mine. This is what I mean when I say that he will show you my glory. In just a little while, I will be gone and you will see me no more. But just a little while after that, you will see me again. They found my Bible, but I would not give up. I will bring in more Bibles. I will read God's word every chance I get. I'm not gonna keep this video going too long, but I'm feeling something. And you should too. Um is it Daniel? Um, was it Daniel or was it Ezekiel? Um,
Listen. Listen. And I'm going to do a whole video about this. I'm going to end this video off like this. They taught you everything backwards. You know what? It don't even matter what they taught us, bro. They taught these people of the world everything backwards. And that's why when you come out speaking truth, they're going to think that you're being wicked. And they're going to think they're doing God a service. When they're doing Satan, yes, yeah, service. Because everything is groomed. Everything was taught backwards, bro. And I mean, when I tell you everything, bro, I'm telling you. Everything they taught us backwards, bro. Good is bad. Bad is good, bro. Everything backward. Even this, listen. Even this. His clothing was white as snow. His hair, the whitest of wool. Like the whitest of wool. Listen now, right here. He sat upon a fiery throne. Brought in on flaming wheels. And a river of fire flowed before him. Who does that sound like? The image that they gave Satan. Right? Who does it speaking of? I watched as thrones were um, in place in the ancient of days. The almighty God sat down to judge on, with his hair white as wool and he sat on a fiery throne. The ancient of days being the almighty God, he sat on a fiery throne that had fiery wheels and a stream of fire went out before him. When they show you Satan on TV, he's sitting on a fiery throne with fire all around him. Ain't that crazy? So when you see Satan, so when you see, when they give you an image of God, And this is dealing in a part where it's dealing with horns. So they give you the image of God having horns. Red, fiery, fiery throne. Ain't that right? And they say that that's Satan, bro. They taught us everything backwards, bro. That's why these people are done. So if they was to see God, they would think they're seeing Satan. And if they was to see Satan, and, and vice versa. And vice versa. I mean, they got it backwards. If they was to see the real Satan, they would think that they're seeing God. Why? Okay, well, um, okay. Uh, uh, where, where was I at? Was it Jeremiah went into, was it Daniel? Daniel went into the place of darkness, deep darkness, because that's where the most high dwells at. Just read that yesterday. I want to save all this for another video that I am going to do today. But Daniel went into a place of darkness because that's where the most high God dwells at in darkness. That's where he meets him. That's where they talk in darkness. Okay, bro. So if the most high dwells in darkness, then where do you think Satan dwells at? The light. What's the Statue of Liberty called? Lucifer. Lucifer meaning what? The light bearer or the bearer of light. See what I'm saying? But what do they want you thinking? They want you afraid of the dark. They want you thinking that it's creepy in the dark. The demons are in the dark. The devil is in the dark. No, he ain't. He's in the light. He's not in the dark. He's not in the dark. He's scared of the dark. Satan is scared of the dark and so is his constituencies. All of these people all over the earth are afraid of the dark. See what I'm saying? The most highest people willingly go into the dark with the heart to do it. Anyway, 
I'm going to end this video, yo. I'm going to end this video right here. But we're going we gonna to pick back up later. We're going to pick back up again in a few hours. Peace. Then the letters came. Letters from me. Letters from Christians all over the world. God not only answered my prayer for a Bible. He let me know I am not forgotten. เลยอบเพิ่นพระคัมภีร์องค์น้องเยตุมโปตื่มตะคุกสิบปีโออ้านพึ่งพระคัมภีร์เลยพระเจ้านูนเรียมโอ้เลยก็สู้สู้สู้